Hey everybody, it's the after show. We've got Dr. Britton and Dr. Amani from Mary to Medicine, uh, Los Angeles. Is there anything that wasn't uh, said or resolved in the show that you're getting a lot of questions about that you want to clear up? Either of you? Hmm. No, my shit's resolved, I think. I mean, I'm having <laughs> sex, I'm doing well, I'm good. What about you, Amani? Anything that the viewers have been asking you that you feel like you need to clear up? There was, I mean, there was one thing that happened in the beginning, um, and I think it was the first or second episode when I walked into uh, Jasmine's rental property, and it was like, oh, Imani didn't say hi to Jasmine, which, you know, is to some people isn't a big deal, but I actually did say hi to her. Because I'm not going to go into somebody's house and just be like, oh, let me grab this food and just stare up in your face and not say anything to you when this is your party. So aside from that, I think everything was pretty much resolved. Yeah. Let's see. Robert R. wants to know, uh, for both of you, why do you think Dr. Kendra allowed Jasmine to take food off her plate? Do you think it was a good idea for those two to work on Kendra's fitness together? I don't think Kendra knew how serious Jasmine takes fitness. She just and saw a beautiful woman, exactly. And she was like, yeah, I want to look like that. So I think she didn't really know what she was getting into. Why she didn't say anything about the food snatched off the plate, I think she just wanted to keep everything you know, up, up to snuff. She wanted to be cool about it. She didn't want to make a scene. Um, uh, for both of you, Riley F. said, has Shanique made any prom progress on her real estate business since meeting with Josh Altman? As far as I know, I think she's still kind of trying to figure out how she's going to navigate the new career. Krista L. wants to know what you think is the root of Shanique and Leah's issues for either of you. <laughs> I think it's easy, honestly. I think because Leah was a new person to the group, I think that she, that Shanique and Jasmine tried to kind of haze her, but I don't really understand why, because Leah will read you for filth all the way down to the floor. I agree with that. I think um, it you know, Dr. Amani, you are a psychologist. Psychiatrist. Uh, oh, you are a psychiatrist. I felt so strong saying psychologist. <laughs> and I'll never get it. And I've seen plenty in my life. Um, but uh, I want to get your opinions about some drama going on in the Bravo sphere, okay? And just tell okay. me what you think, okay? What advice would you give a woman in her 40s still being told by her mother how to wear her hair? Oh, um, that's Tinsley well, and Dale on uh, the Beverly on New York Housewives. That's kind of odd. Um, I mean, it this person is an adult, so and I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like unless your parents are like paying your bills and you're nine years old again, like yeah. that's not a topic that really needs to be discussed. Now, if if this person is walking around, you know, with like looking like you know they have like a discombobulated chicken on their head, then yes, I would say the mother is in the right. But, you know, I'm like, what's your Okay, mom? speaking of mama drama, let's talk about Atlanta and Mama Joyce and Candy. We have a mother who's constantly accusing her son-in-law of only being with her daughter for money. How do you deal with that? Ooh, um, I think just, That's you know, tough. you have to sit those people down and just give them boundaries. Like, you know what, you're doing too much. Um, my husband is not with me for, you know, whatever reason. And I'm just really going to need for you to respect my, me and my husband and the life that we have together. And if you can't do that, then, you know, we need to come up with a plan so that we may, may not see each other as much or talk as much. Because from what I remember, Mama Joyce was like, well, I know what's going on in these streets. No. Right. <laughs> now, in Beverly Hills, we've got a situation of a husband and wife and the husband is getting involved in the women's drama and they don't want him there and they're getting very offended by that. If you're the wife of that, the, that man, how do, you, how do you tell him to stand down? I think you just tell him to shut up and get out of our business. <laughs> I don't think there has to be too much else to it. Like, right. this is our shit. Stay out of it. Otherwise, right. you're gonna be, they'll be calling you a bitch ass. Did you ladies watch Married to Medicine Atlanta before your season, before you guys were on Married yeah. to Medicine? I did, yeah. yeah. You did? Mm-hmm. Wow. And uh, do you still? Yes. I no, actually- no, not, I, well, not every episode. Yeah, not, I usually will catch the reunion. Um, but for me personally, I think it's because being on a reality show, once you, you know, you see like the- Once you see how the hot dogs are made? Yeah, it's kind of like, all right, like- it, Well, it's, you know what? 
as oh, intriguing okay. maybe. Yeah, and I talked to Contessa, I talked to Heavenly, so I know what's going on as they film it. Yeah. So I don't really have to watch it because I yeah. live with them, you know what I mean? Right, 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 I get it. Listen, I want to thank uh, Britton and Amani. Uh, great season, great to see you. Uh, and uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for more. <laughs> Click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody.